Hello, sublimators. I am very excited for today's live. Um, I have one of my very, very special guests and friends here, uh, Mark Ramiro of Subliblog. Hi, Mark. How are you? Loving it. <laughs> powered by Condi. Oh, you are powered by Condi. I think I am too, actually. So I'm excited for today for a few different reasons. One, because your template game is, is top tier. And uh, number two is because you're going to show me all the things that I did wrong on my Friday Live doing a chili mug, right? Well, it's not that you did wrong. It's just like, uh, I'm going to do it in, uh, I'm going to bring it up too much so we could we could get it right, especially on the shrimp rack, when we the shrimp wrap, and we're going to go, this is the mug, we're going to go full wrap from here down the curve, all the way down here. So we're going to, I'm going to show how to do from, from scratch. And I'm going to show you how to cut the, the, the shrimp wrap that we're going to be using the, the SF-135. Okay, we're going to show that in the table with a template I did for it. Okay, so I think the first thing first, if you got any other questions, you, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, let's go. I got you. You're, you're full screen, so show us what you got. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with Corel Draw. That's my favorite. Okay, uh, that's the, the software I use. That's my logo, Subli Blog by Mark. My name is Mark Anthony from Tampa, Florida, born and raised in Brooklyn. Now, we're going to start in Corel Draw, and we're going to bring Candy uh, template for the MUG044, okay? So this is Candy template. So it's 17.35 by 2 inches high okay so i did i did manage to do a template normally i use i start i start measuring the cup i use some um, and this is uh, something that a lot of people should do i use parchment paper so like that so like that you could get, let me see if you could see me so just in case okay perfect right there I use parchment paper, and what I do, I take the mug, and I and I'm, I, I make a I make like a, a template on top of the mug. Okay, this is the way I did it. Okay, you see it, and then what I do with this with this parchment paper, I take the measurement and I create a corel draw. Okay, so let me show you. So I brought this, bear with me, I'm gonna bring my, my template. So you can see the difference here in Corel. Okay, this is, my, this is my template, the one in red. You see the difference? See the difference from candy in the back? This is candy, I'm gonna put in green. You see it? And look at, to do a full wrap, I had a, I had a stretch it, okay? so. Let me take candy out, candy template, and this is the template. Okay. You see a template right here. And you see the difference that I did. This is the this is the handle right here. So when you when you want to do your art, you want to have your art from here. I'm gonna have this template. I'm gonna send this template to, to Sprite. So she could put it up in uh in Candy website, okay? Because I know this is, you guys are gonna like it. So this is, this is your area where you're gonna put your, your artwork, okay? What I normally do, so I could have a middle, this, because if you see right now, this is not the middle of the cup. The middle of the cup is between, between the handles. So this is the middle of the cup, okay? So that's the middle. Plus another thing that you gotta realize 
And this I learned the hard way, making mistakes. This is, this is the middle of each side of the cup. So you wanna have, that's the middle. When you, when you see the cup from, from the front, okay? And this is the middle of, of the uh, left-hand side. I had a customer ask me, can you do me a left side? Because I'm lefty. Okay, yeah. So this is, this is the area that you want to put the, the design. This is for right-hand side and left-hand side. Okay. So this is your template. So you could work with your artwork. I mean, you could do another thing before I continue. And this is something I did. Okay. You want to you wanna put a guideline right here. I'm going to tell you what that means. This guideline, that means that you're going to, this is where, where the cup curve, this is the bottom of the, of the mug. This part right here, let me see right here. So you want to you wanna put a guideline so like that, if you don't want to write nothing beneath that line, so like that will be easier for you when, you, when you're working with your, with your artwork. What I do, just, just in case, I just put two lines here when I print. I know that's my, my cutting line. Okay, double click. Okay. Perfect. So you got your template ready for your artwork. You could do, wow. I did a couple samples and I, because this is a chili bowl, right? Right, Sprite? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use something like that look hot. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my, I bought a flame. So I'm gonna bring my flame here. Okay. Fire, see? So what I did, I put the, let me make sure I got it right. Okay. It's in the back. Okay, perfect. See, this is my, this is my artwork, you see it? You can play with it up and down, but I like this the fire for my, for my mug, okay? So you see, you see in this area? That's gonna be underneath the handle. I put my logo there, okay? By markdesign.com, design and decorate in Tampa and everything. So this is all this in this area, that's underneath the, the handle. So you wanna, if you wanna put your logo there or whatsoever, brand your, your products, okay? So now I wanna put some, uh, what you might call it? Uh, give me a second. I wanna put my name on it, Mark Anthony Hapo, okay? It's right there. You see, you see, remember what I told you about the metal? Because I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna put it here so it could be right there in the middle. Remember, this is the, I know you could see it. Okay, remember this is the guideline where the, where the mud curves. So you don't wanna have nothing underneath that line. So we, what we're gonna do, we're gonna shrink this above that line. And when we, we're gonna take it right here to the middle. Okay, that's the middle. And you still got, I rather help. Oh, give me a second. Let's come back. We'll bring it up a little bit. I don't want it. Perfect. You still remember this is a big mug. You could see it here in Corel Draw. It looked like it's small, but this this name is what four inches and a half. So you got a pretty good space to work. I don't want to put nothing in this side. Well, this is the back of my, if I grab with my left hand, if I want to put it there, because I'm going to grab with my right hand. So I'd rather have my name here. I could double it. Yeah, I could do that. It's like that one, perfect. That's right there in the middle. This is the middle of the cup. And I got left side and a right, right hand side. Okay. Any questions so far? Sprite, any question in the... Uh, not yet. Not yet. So, I learned something about training.
when you're doing full rap. And one thing I'm glad I did, I did bump the Epson SC F570. I bought it from Hong Kong. I was in the waiting list, but I finally got it. And trust me, this I think this is my best investment I had done since I started my business back in 1997. But the good part about the Epson paper is it's not like the like the regular paper you use in the saw grass. It's easy to curve. And then the paper is so thin that when when you're gonna see it when I'm preparing the, the paperwork to the mug, you're gonna see the difference how it curve. Okay. So I'm gonna print this using my, my Epson 570. Okay. You're not gonna see the print spooler because I don't gotta set it up like that, okay? I use uh, I use a 24 inch roll of paper, okay? So like that, bear with me on this one. Let me make sure everything is correct. Okay, I, I'm gonna put this at four, perfect. That's, that's my printout, see? So I gotta go 24 inches, that's my paper. I'm not worried about the waist, but this is, we just gonna practice here. You cannot go lower than three inches on the Epson. You gotta have four inches or more to print, okay? So I'm gonna set up my page, I'm a print spooler. They're gonna, I'm gonna print. Okay, I already had the template here. So then that we save time. Number four, Mark. There we go. Number four. Go down. Number four. Here we go. Four. Perfect. Perfect. And the good part about the printer, it prints so fast. Okay, let's print it. And now, now we're gonna go. Now we're gonna go to the table while it prints. So like that could have everything set up. And we're gonna do first. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not watching the, perfect. Now let's go change, perfect. Now we're gonna go to the table and we, we're, gonna, we're gonna get everything prepared and then we're gonna hit it at the oven at 400 degrees for 14 minutes. So let me switch, let me switch camera, camera number three. No, that's me, I use camera number one and camera number two. Camera number two. From the top, perfect. Hey Mark, you make templates for all of the mugs, correct? Yes, I, I redo all the templates that, all the mugs I, re, I buy from you guys, I do a new template because it's, remember I, I like to do full wraps, okay? And then for me, doing a new template is easier than uh, to work with a, a template that made because like I show you on the on Corel Draw, your templates are small because you you use you don't go full wrap. So all the, every time I get a new product, trust me, I sit I sit here for hours to figure out how I'm gonna do a good template. Okay, so. Can you see me from now? Okay. We're in the table. This is my favorite table. You got your artwork. You need uh, your mug, MUG 044, a large clear ruler. Okay. The sector, cut, cutting finger sector, they cut fingers. I did this template, and you can see it right. I did this template because I mean, this is this template I did is to cut my my shrimp wrap. Okay, it's not large as the shrimp wrap because I just need I just need to focus on the middle. I'm not worry about the size. And you're gonna see when when I started setting it up. Okay, then you will need the SF one thirty five. Okay, so let's let's cut this first, and then we we're gonna we're gonna operate the way. Hey, 
I used I used a, a metal ruler so I could cut the the shrimp wrap. Okay, it's easier. Okay, you open it. This is this is your metal. I'm gonna take some of that. Okay, perfect. Can you see it? Perfect. So ceramic chill, 32 ounces. You go to the middle, this right here. That's why I put it here in the line. So you want to put this here. Okay. This is the part, Sprite, that it will make your your your, your job easier when you're gonna when you're gonna heat heat gun it. Because I mean you're not gonna have that all that extra extra plastic just crushing in on the handle. So be careful with your fingers. You just want to cut here, cut here, okay? Remember this is, you see it? I know you can see it, you see it? And then you're gonna cut here all the way down, okay? And both sides. Somebody called me the other day to ask me for one of these templates. And I did manage to sell it to her. What she was doing, I think was 80 mugs and she didn't want to go through the problem. She was doing 80, 11 ounce mug. And, and I created one of these for her and, and mail it to her. She just called me today that it was a perfect fit. And then you wanna cut here, be careful fingers. Okay. Pass it twice just in case you don't, you miss something. Put this here aside, and here's your, here's your shrimp wrap. You see it? I missed this side, but I'm not worried. I could do it by. So here's your your shrimp wrap ready. Okay. See it? See it, Frank? And you're gonna see how it works. Let me put this aside, and let me, let me bring our artwork now. Remember. Remember the two guys I told you that you're gonna cut. This is the bottom of the of the. So you wanna cut. You wanna cut up here first. Don't worry, you leave a, a gap. Be careful. You wanna leave, if you if you leave a gap in the top. That's no problem. You see. See you here? Okay. Cut the extra. You cut it out. Now you want to cut the bottom. Now this is a full wrap mug 44. And this is the first time I do one. So if I messed up on this one, Do a follow up video, but I, I'm, I'm confident myself that we're gonna have a perfect, a perfect product and everything, okay? So you wanna cut the handles. Sometimes they, they're so clear, I don't use a ruler because I, I know how to work on it. Been using a sacto for more than 30 years, so. Watch your fingers. Perfect. Now you wanna cut this, the extra. So far so good. Okay, don't cut this side yet because that's the guy. Okay, what you wanna do now, let me clean up my favorite. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna put your, let me see if I could give it a zoom. Let me zoom this, this camera. Perfect. Perfect. I think that's the one. Perfect. Okay, so what you wanna do, you wanna, you wanna align your ruler in this side, right here. Let me see. And then the guy here on this side, okay? So you wanna put your ruler there. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. Every, every half, half an inch on the ruler, okay? You're gonna put at 15, 
Now let's put it all the way up to 17. Perfect. Right there. So what you're gonna do, every three half an inch, you're gonna cut it that way. Okay, let's talk about at nine, you cut it this way, at nine and a half, at 10, at 10 and a half, at 11, at 11 and a half. So like that, when, when you're doing the bottom, you, you're gonna see the reason I, why I do it like this. I know this is a lot of work, but when you're selling one of these mugs, make sure you go put, don't give it away. Because once you give it away, you're gonna keep doing it faster. So make sure you put a good price on it. Because it's a unique mug and nobody gonna have, there's not gonna be a second one like it. Okay. I'm gonna go all the way to the other side. Let me zoom out. I'm gonna go all the way to the side. Every half an inch, I'm gonna cut it. Make sure you use a ruler that's deep, like this one. This is like a quarter, a quarter inch deep. So like that, you don't cut yourself, and you could have a better grip. Okay, every half half an inch. So far, so good. At two. At one and a half, at one and a half. Perfect. If I lose, miss, okay, I miss one here, but that's no problem. I get it right here. Perfect. Put that to the side. Now you could cut this side. The good part of a clear ruler that you could see, because you use a metal ruler, you're not going to see down. Perfect. You see it? You see it here? How here, no, right there, you see it? Every half an inch, see how beautiful? Okay, now, let's see if I could get a better, a better grip here. Okay, now, you're gonna take your mug, okay? Remember, this is the top, this is the bottom. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna, Put it here first, okay? And then you're gonna wrap it around. See? See how those handle went in? Let me make sure. You see it? How the handle went in underneath, okay? So you wanna press, press it, press it down, okay? Make sure. perfect. Then you grab a piece of orange tape. And you got it right there. See it? See how neat? Okay, make sure you, you make any adjustment up and down. Perfect, all, all the way up to the rim. And then you're gonna put a piece of tape here in the top. To secure that one. Okay, and then one in the bottom. Don't do the one in the bottom yet, okay? And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start applying tape. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna spend a little bit of tape on this one, okay? So what you wanna do, you wanna start putting tape and bringing it down, okay? You see it? Just bring it down. Don't worry about any, anything that's up because once you put the shrimp wrap, this paper is so thin that you're gonna be able to have that, that hour to your to the surface of your mug. So if you wanna put it size, you wanna put it size way, you could do it. Save yourself a little bit of tape. But this is my first one, so I wanna make sure. You see like that? But make sure it, it, it touch the mug. If you put it up here, it's not gonna curve. You see how it curving? Perfect. Another one here. Oh, I love this. It's my passion, doing full wrap. Okay, we're gonna go here too. Perfect. Be careful that on tape don't go underneath the print out because then you're gonna you're gonna have that gap. You see how you see how it's curving? You see it right here? See? Then when you put the shrimp wrap, all this is gonna get together and then you're not gonna have that problem. 
Okay. Hey, Mark, can you, uh, I have a, a couple questions, but can you move the camera like a little back towards you so I can kind of see what you're doing? Right here? Perfect, yes. And Perfect, then, okay. And Shannon has a question. When you uh, cut it at the bottom for the curve, do you have a preference of patterns? Like, do you like a busy pattern? Does that work better or does a solid color work better? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. That's something that I was gonna talk about. This is my printout. You see, that's why I use, I use a blank like this, because you, you know you can see that it got white. You see it? So that means if I get a boo boo, it's not it's not gonna affect me, because if you do a solid, maybe maybe I'll do a video on it, doing a solid like a maybe I will do a black black crown. Once I get more more of the mug forty four, I'm gonna do one and I'm gonna put it in in my YouTube channel doing a solid black one. I want to do that. I, I'm doing it on this one because it's my first one and I want to see how, how it comes out. And that's a good question. And the pattern, uh, I, don't, I don't know, in Curve, I had done in the past a couple of things in, with solid and I don't, get the, I don't get that solid, solid, I mean, black or blue or yellow are not a problem, but Try to not use a solid pattern. So that that will be easier for you. Okay, you can see it, right? Okay, now we're gonna keep continue. Okay. It take a little bit of time, but remember once you, you master it, I could, I could do five of these in less than half an hour. I'm doing it because I want you guys to see how, how, how it's done. Okay. If you want, so like that, it will move. You could put a piece of tape up here to secure, okay, the paper so that that won't go down when, when you press it. I think we're gonna have a good Mug 44 here and a full wrap. The difference between this paper and the one from that I, I was using for the sawgrass is, is this one is easier to curve. And remember, paper, if you if you do this, it's gonna come down. You see it? Because I mean, your your hands are most are most are gonna, you see it? Perfect. Now the bottom part, be careful here. Because you're gonna you wanna make sure this one goes underneath. Perfect. I'm not worried about that much underneath the, the handle or just in case. Sometimes you get a little bit of piece of paper here. You see it here on this side? You just wanna cut it with the sack though. Just be careful with your, with your fingers. Perfect. You wanna make sure you put a tape from underneath the handle. Like that. You see it? You see right there? Because you got that opening, just in case, you never know. Perfect. Any question so far? Look at that. See how that paper shaped to the, to the mug? Okay. Now the shrimp wrap going to help it a little bit more. Okay. Now, this is the tricky part. Spread, this is the part that I meant that day. See, because if you use, if you use it like that, it's not going to work. But when you when when you have a cutout like this, let me take this piece. Okay, now beautiful, right there. The first thing you want to do, you want to put a tape in this side right here, so that that will move. Okay. Then you're gonna go, turn it around, okay? And you're gonna bring it to, so it's you, and you're gonna put two pieces of tape here. One and two. So far, so good, you see it? Then you're gonna take this side, this side, right there, this side. You're gonna bring it 
Let's tap on the other one. Same thing. One piece of tape or two pieces of tape that you want. Okay. And then you put one up and down just to be, when you're using a big heat gun, it's gonna shrink. See it? See it guys? Let me make sure you see it. Now, underneath the handle, you're gonna bring this one, and you're gonna close it with tape right there. Perfect, see it? See it there? Okay, now, you could leave it like that, but sometimes the heat gonna shrink more than you want. So you wanna put tape underneath right here. And you're gonna put tape here in the outside and up and down. If you run out of tape, call Karen Roberts extension 216 and she will sell you more tape. Right, Karen? <laughs> I always buy a lot of tape from Karen because I like to secure my, you see it? And now you're gonna put a piece of tape here in this side. Everything I'm using today, I bought it from Candy System, candy.com. So, perfect. You see it? You see how it goes? Okay, don't worry about this one because when you hit, hit the, the, the heat, it's, it's just gonna come down. Oh, I love it. I love this prank. Perfect. Now, let's bring the, the, the heat gun. Let's put it at 750 degrees. Okay, right here. 750. Once it goes up here, all the way up, it's ready to, for the heat. Not yet, not yet, not yet. 700, 700, 750. Now, just... You see the different on Sprite? Perfect. Perfect. I, I like I like this this heat gun, but got a cooling cooling system. Perfect. Don't worry about this. I mean, you you could you could secure this one in the box just in case. You know, you see it. Make sure. I like to do this, so like that, the curve. Okay, let's cross our fingers. Uh, I'm gonna go to the oven. I'm gonna put it there for 14 minutes. I'm gonna come back to answer question and tell you about a little bit about the, the, the template, okay? So you wanna take it away for, uh, for one minute, Sprite, so while I go to the, to the oven? Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Take it away. I'll be back in one minute. Well, that looked a lot um, easier to shrink than what I did. That's for sure. Um, that's for sure. So I'm excited for Mark to come back and show us how he actually uh, creates the templates because that has been, um, uh, it, it's a hard thing to do. It's a very difficult thing to do. If it was easier, I think we'd have full bleed templates on uh, just about all of our, our products. So, um, so yeah. So I'm excited to see what it looks like in 14 minutes. Mark's back. Uh, I, I'm back. I'm here. Let me, let me put my camera in number. Let me put my camera in number two. I think it is number two, Mark. You got to learn this camera, Mark. There we go. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm gonna see that find the, find the mug because I mean, my first one, and you saw how easy it is to work with the, with the shrimp wrap. And let's go. I hope you can see me here. You can see me, right? Okay. It's very important that if to not have those uh, 
the white spot. Try to not try not do a solid color or pattern just in case. I know if you're gonna do like a Christmas thing, or let's let's say you're gonna do something for now for Thanksgiving. What I, what I'll do, I will get a pattern like the 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 baskets, and then you put it in the bottom. I mean, you could there's a lot of places online that you could buy you could buy uh, backgrounds. I mean, I don't I, I don't don't get nothing from Google and download it. I bought this pattern, so I did pay for it, and uh, and it's easier for like that. You have no problem. And then what you do? Let me see if I could go back to cover draw. Let me see if I could go cover draw in number one. Let me go to cover draw. Bear with me, guys. Okay, perfect. Okay. And cover draw. Okay. If let me work on this. In, okay. You see, if I could put the bottom, you see, I could do this in the bottom. But this is fire. I still got white spot. You see them? See the white spot? Uh, if I miss something, it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect the, the final design because uh because of that. In in a case that you want to do a solid, the problem is. You're gonna have problems. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go green. See, I don't know how it's gonna look because remember, you're cutting the paper. Let me come back. Let me come back. Bear with me, guys. Let me come back so I can show you. Number two. Okay. The problem is that you're cutting the paper. When you cut the paper, even though you don't see this gap. I mean, it's it's less than a than, than a hair thing, but when 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 you when you, when you put it in top of the other, sometimes it it happened to me a couple of weeks ago that remember you're using sublimation ink and sometimes the ink goes through the paper. Trust me, it goes. And I gotta be careful because then what you're gonna have. The, the one that's in top of the other, the ink from this side, right here, the ink from this side is gonna be in top of this one, and then it's gonna penetrate the, the, the paper. So then you're gonna see a darker, you're gonna see a darker mark because I mean, ink is going through twice. I mean, you'd be surprised that sublimation ink, even after you finish taking it out of the heat press and you put it in top of something, the ink will keep continuing. Uh, ink and whatever you put in top of it. That's what happened with a lot with the shirts and the mugs. You gotta be careful because once you take that paper out of the mug, if you leave it close to the mug, it, it's still hot and it's still the gas is gonna keep on going until it's it, it's cooled down. So, any other question? What do you ask, Sprite? I don't see you. I have a, I have some some people really like your heat gun, so. Um, oh, that's a good heat gun. Trust me. I went to I went to the uh, this big uh, warehouses, hardware store, and I tried like I tried like three, and I returned them. And I said, okay, let me go a little bit higher in price. I think it's less than eighty bucks. And then I found that one that goes up to sixteen hundred, sixteen hundred degrees, and it's good. You put at seven fifty and. You're done, and it's plastic, so it's it's hard plastic, so like that you don't you don't get burned, except the tip. That the tip, trust me. <laughs> Let me bring this. Everything is plastic, okay. And I, and then the tip is the one, okay. And it cools down because it got it got a cool down feature that you could put it you could put it like that. And it will cool down and the control and everything. So this is the Wagner. I don't know what's the, the model number of this. Uh part number, model number 20, 2363335. I bought it. Let me get a shout out to Home Depot. Mm -hmm. I bought it in Home Depot. So I did try five before I bought this one. The battery operator one and it, it will not work. A battery one it will not work. So, so I 
I am curious, uh, and I know that you don't have another chili mug, but I see the uh, speckled camp mug right there beside behind you, the tan one. Could you show me how you would, how would you start making your own full bleed template for that? Okay, perfect. So while we wait for that 14 minutes, let me bring the, the first thing I got to do, I got to bring the, What's the number on that one? Uh, mug, That's the mug what? Mug 046 or Mug 045, I think. Uh, I'll tell you right now. No, not, that's not five. Mug 046. Yeah, forty six. Ah, okay, let okay. me bring let me bring the let me bring the original template. So I go show you how I do it. Okay, let me down download it, Mark. If you log in, you're gonna download it. If you don't log in, you're not gonna download it. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and I'm gonna bring it down. Bear with me. Took me by surprise on this one. Okay, but that's good. But I'm going to do it from scratch. Well, I, I like it. to I like to throw people curveballs while they're while they're live. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay, yeah. I, I, I know that's paper. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. I still have right, candy. Okay, let me let me open it up in Corel. I'm going to switch to Corel Draw. Okay. Uh, Carol draw. Okay, right here, Mark. Perfect. Bring it down. Let me switch to Carol draw now, later, guys. Ah, uh, no, Mark. Take that one away. Take that away. Perfect. Sorry. Okay. You there? Okay. And let me switch. Ah. Uh, Number two, Mark, number two, camera number two, and camera draw, perfect. There we go. This is your original, this is your original, this is the first time I opened this. So uh, if you ask me, Mark, will you use that? No, I will not use that, okay? I'm going to tell you why. Because I like to go underneath the handles and it's easier for me. I know this one, it got those uh, black, I don't know how they call that freckles. I don't know what are they those freckles? Yeah, we just call them so, speckles. Okay, so even though it got speckles, you could do a, a nice little design on it uh, because I don't know. I, I saw a picture in, in in Facebook. I don't know once you sublimate it if the black will go away. They said that you want to do a full wrap in black. Hmm, it's got a good idea. Bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna go to the table first. Okay, let me go to the table. Let me go to camera number number three. No, Mark, you still haven't learned your cameras. The thing is, I got four, so <laughs> number one. No, that number is number two. The middle one is number two. Okay, perfect. Okay, right there. Normally, this is what I do. Parchment paper, yeah, from Costco. They got a cheap two pack. And I use this a lot with the simulation. Okay. So, here's your mug. Okay. Let me get a camera here. Camera number three. Number one. I know that one. Let me get number one here. And the same one. Perfect. See, I'm learning. So, let me do this. And let me open it up here in the top so you can see. No mark switch it. There we go. Perfect. So, first thing first. So, I got the parchment paper because I got one of these. Okay. So, what I do, I take it from the middle 
underneath the handle, the middle, and I go around, okay? So that means I need a parchment paper that's 12, 12 inches, right? And then three inches from the rim in the top to the bottom, you see it? Three inches and a half. So let me, I'm gonna zoom out so like that you guys can see. No, that's not the one mark. The one number one, zoom out number one, perfect. Perfect. Okay. The other part that I got this mat, so I could align the, put some tape here. Okay. Perfect. When, I, when you hear the beep, 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 the mug is done, but it's not done yet. So we need a 12 and a half, a 12, sorry, 12 inch. You can see me here, right? I'm gonna use this guideline right here, this line. And then I'm gonna bring it all the way up to this line, you see it? So when you use a, a pencil, when you do the pencil, turn it like that, so like that the, the tip don't go flat. I learned that in my engineering class in college. Okay, so you wanna go like this. Okay, so you got your, your 12 inch. Okay, then you need, you need three and a half down. Okay, three and a half is right here. Three and a half is right here. You following me, Sprite? Yes, sir. Okay, so you wanna. Perfect. So 12, I said that 12 was right here. But perfect, perfect. So we hit this one, this line, and then this line. Okay. People, people will ask, but Mark got time for it. Yeah, I do. Live by myself here. And when I'm bored, I just get up and sit here and start doing creating things. That's the good part of it. So that's that's your. That's your mug sign right there. See, it's bigger than the one that you have in your website. Now, this is gonna be my, my left side. Remember, I right-handed. So this is gonna be my left side. So what I do, I take my measure, okay? I'm gonna go right here, see? So that's gonna be like half an inch from there. And then the second one gonna be one inch and the other one two and a half, okay? And the other one is three and a quarter. So you wanna go three and a quarter, okay? Two and a half, go, coming down, and then at one inch, and then uh, you got it at, I said, five eight. Okay, mug is done. Let me go get it. I'll be back. Let me change. Let me get everything ready. Okay, yeah, please. I mean, let me make sure I, I get the camera right. Number one, number two. That's number three, Mark. Perfect. Now that's no, that's not. No, I want. I want in the table. I want in the table. I want in the table. Perfect. And then the top first. There we go. It's gonna be hot when I come down this way. I'll be back. Yeah, look at that. M remember one of these, Sprite? Oh, yes. Remember these? Yes. Yes, the staple remover. Okay. I know. 
Yeah, let me bring it so you can see it perfect. Right there, you can see it right there. Okay, so we're gonna start. Paper is hot. Be careful. Woo, it's hot. 100 degrees. Oh, look at that. Woo. It's a glove. Then I gave it to Bo. <laughs> it's hot. Ooh, it's hot. I can feel it. That is cool already. Ooh. Ooh. I'm excited, Sprite. Let me get this tape out of the way. Woohoo! Okay. This is the fun part. Okay, let's bring it out in the corner. Ooh, I see my name there. Oh, oh, wow. 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 Sorry, guys. I mean, I just, I get emotional. I mean, I want to cry because it's every time I do something like this for the first time. Wow, Sprite, look at this. Man, that looks good. That's, oh, the thing the, that's the thing about sublimation. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing it. It's always awesome when you do the reveal. Oh, yeah. Trust me. It's just for me. I mean, Especially I want to cry. This is something that, and this is the first one I do, you know? Wow. Let me let me clean it up. Oh, keep the glove on because if not, you're gonna get burned. Trust me, I, I had done it before. Okay. Look at this. Look at that sprite. Man, that looks great. Look at that. And yeah, underneath that, the handle. And that design work, it it worked really, really well with the full bleed. See? Okay, you see it? Right no, right there. See the design? You don't see no imperfection. You see it? Let me let me bring it to this one. But then it's hot. <laughs> How can I hold this hot? Wow, look at that. And you see the full bleed? Even though you cannot see it because you see it? See that it right there? Great. See and it? you just increased the value of that mug exponentially. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I will, I will sell it for 29, 35 bucks. I know people will pay for it. This is something unique, you know? Look at that, look how beautiful, look at the colors. And this is the Epson uh, uh, 570. I mean, that ink is phenomenal. Look at that. Look underneath, you can see right there. See it right there, right there. You see the letters? I mean, you could even read it. It's not something that you cannot read. Let me see if I could get up the camera to see it. You see the fine prints? Oh, that looks great. Look at that. Look at the top. I mean, it just, wow. What a, what a great place. Art. That's a great place to brand too. Hey, trust me, I do it too. I've been doing this for all my mugs since day one. I mean, people will ask, and sometimes I, I forgot, but you, you get somebody a gift with, with information there, branding. So, I mean, Nike put in the shirts, why you, you should not use your logo? This is beautiful. I mean, I hope you could see it right here in, in person. I mean, the colors are phenomenal. The shine of the mug, look at that. Tell David that he, whoever whoever got this in, they did a good job. Well, this thank is gonna, you. This is going to be a Christmas. Who did it? You? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you picked it? Oh, yeah. man, you did a good job. This Thank is going to be a hot seller for the for the holidays. Just imagine the holidays. You put in something with a Christmas design and like and people will put it in, in, in the kitchen with candy or whatever. That's a gift, you know, wrap it up in plastic and put Christmas candy in it. Wow. Well, and it, it dropped to 80 degrees here in Mobile today, so it is definitely chilly season. So uh, I'm excited. This is great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to send you that template so great. that that all your other customers from Candy could have it. Because this is, I mean, and they could watch this video. This video is going to be up there on YouTube. Plus, I'm going to do another one with a solid with a solid background to see how it works. And uh, I mean... 
the next, I think the only thing that we make is your, your best creativity. So you could create unique product like this. Look at that, look at the fire, how it looks. See how the fire looks? Look at it. it it's really hot, <laughs> hot bowl. Wow, I, I'm gonna have my, my cherry. Uh, so question, any questions so far? Um, and, uh, so Linda, Linda wants to know um, what program you design in. You, I use Corel Draw. I, I don't use nothing else. Corel Draw. I've been using Corel Draw since version two, and I'm up to 20, 2021. It's the thing is, I mean, I like the way. I don't know. It's it's a matter of choice. I mean, I know a lot of the graphic designer right there. They they learn in, in Photoshop and everything and, and the other stuff, but I mean, but Photoshop is the one that gives the, the colleges free software, and that's why they sell. But Corel Draw for me is the ultimate designing tool. I mean, I do I, I do I, I do use Photoshop, but not for design, just to manipulate uh, photos. But all my designs, everything I do is in Corel Draw. For me, that's the best program out there. I know you use it. Up there in Candy. Uh, and right now it's easier because I think you pay, uh, now you pay online and get an upgrade every year. I mean, I, I remember back in the days, I was paying $600 for cover draw, $699, $799. I remember back in the days. So, cover draw. So, you want, you want to finish this? Yeah, let's go ahead and finish it. Okay. So let me put my let me put my chili bowl to the side, and then okay. Let me. Did you just grab that out. with your bare hand? Why? Why? The mug. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's full. Oh. Okay. My my apartment is sixty five degrees. Twenty four seven. I'm from New York. <laughs> we love the cold. No, it is. Look, look, it's cool is, already. Is that why you moved to Florida? <laughs> no, you don't if even. That's the one, what the reason I moved to Florida, you'll be surprised. I just came for a weekend back in 2015. Left. And and I, I said, I'm going to stay a, a month, a week, a month. And then I said, you know what? Went back a year later and pick up my stuff and, and moved down here. Okay. So. Remember, I had the numbers here. So that means coming down, you're going you're gonna to put your ruler. You'll put your ruler up there and move. Let me take this one out. I just want to have number. There you go. So I'm one inch right here. Okay. At two and a half. It's right here, and at three and a quarter, it's right here. That's so, so you could create your handles, okay? And then on the top, you're gonna go up uh, right here, five and, a, and an eight. See it? Now, take your, your measurement again, and you wanna know how deep is your, it's one inch, okay? It's one inch. So what you're gonna do, one inch. Okay. That's why I like the I like the background. You see one inch right there. Because it's easier for you. Okay. Then you're gonna draw a line from top to bottom. Okay. And then you're going to create your. Okay. So you're going to cut. Remember, we, we're making the patterns to make sure it fit before we go to Corral. And creating Corel. I mean, you could create in Corel and print it, but sometimes the signs, I like it to do it like that because that could have a 
a good working area. Okay. And then you want to cut up and down. That's, this is this is what go underneath the handle. You see it? So this one you don't want to have. You want to cut here. Watch your fingers. They don't grow back. Okay, you see it? So now you want to cut. You want to cut it out. This is the way you do it, uh, Sprite, or you do it by by just by looking at the at the mug. Uh, I do it the difficult way, and I do it in Corel first. But I don't think I'll ever do that again. <clears throat> actually, now watching you, parchment because... paper is the best. Go ahead. It, well, it really is, and it's it's more tangible, so you can actually see what you're doing. Um, because when you design, I, I find at least when I design in Corel, I'm kind of you know, I'm just kind of guessing. And so this is more, this looks more accurate. Remember, I'm, uh, I'm also an engineering, civil engineering student. So I know, you see it? See the yeah. pattern? Now you take this and you go like this and bring it around. Voila, you see it? Look at that. Perfect fit. Now you could see you put a piece of tape and I'm gonna show you something, a trick on this. So like that in Corel Draw, you wanna make the adjustment. You see how this one is, is in the top? So that means that, that gotta go up, okay? And this one gotta come out, you see it? But this is the part you wanna, you wanna work with. Okay, even on, on, on this one, you don't need to put nothing in the bottle. Don't even waste your time with it. So you wanna, this one, you wanna eliminate this one. Okay, that's the way I do it. Perfect, you see it? For me, the most important thing is underneath. Underneath right here. Okay, it fits, so this one, I gotta move it up. So that means I gotta move this one up a quarter inch. So like that got space. Now I go to cover up with this measurement I got here. And I create everything, okay? It's sort of cover draw. I'm gonna switch. Bear with me, let me switch here. And cover up draw. Dun, 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 dun. I'm loving it. Okay, perfect. There we go. By the way, my screen, my bottom screen, I'm gonna show you. This is the big one. This is my working area, I see it? Wow. That's my working area, okay? So like that, you know. Plus I got another computer here. And I got my surface here, just as a backup. <laughs> you never know what could happen, that's right? Something no. could break. That's okay, true. let me go to Corel Draw now, number two. Perfect, now. This is your I'm gonna, this is your, what you might call it? This is your template. I'm gonna create a blank page, okay? And the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna, I wanna have a square that is 12 inches long and 3.5. That's the one, okay? So let me change this to legal. Perfect. I like to use a red outline. That could see it. Let me bring it up, guys. Okay. So now, this is my this is my right my left hand side right here. So, uh, I, how much was it? That was one inch. So why one? I like I do. I want to do. I put a square, and I, that square gonna be one inch. And and high. Okay, I don't worry about the height for now, okay? So that's, let me snap this to, to the guidelines and to the, snap to the guidelines, snap to the object. Okay, so like that, it will be easier. So it goes snap right there, okay? So that's how deep my handle gotta go. So I bring up a, a guideline right here. You following me? Yep. Okay, so. Let me bring 
Let me bring my ruler right here. It could be a zero. See it? You can do that in Corel Draw. So the bottom one, I'm not worried about it because we eliminate the bottom one. So that means the other one had to go at dun, 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 three and a half, three and a quarter, and one. Let's go up. This 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 is three and a half. So I got to put a guideline at two and a half. That's the top. No, Mark, that's the top. That's not the top. Sorry. It's right here. A quarter inch. Quarter inch right there. So that's the handle. That's the top handle right there. You see it? So now I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to go at two and a half. Two and a half down. That means this is three and a half. I'm at two. Okay, that goes right there. This is underneath the handle. Okay, so far so good. Okay. And... No, let me start quick here. There we go. Now, this, the bottom goes at three and one quarter. It goes right here. That's the bottom. Three and a quarter right here, minus 3.25, perfect. And the other one goes at two and a half. Perfect, minus 2.5. And then the other guideline goes at three and one quarter, minus 3.25. Let's see how it goes. Perfect, I got it there, I don't need, yeah. You need that one, Mark. Okay, so this is the top. You see it right here, okay? And this is the bottom. Remember, I told you that we're not going to worry about the bottom. So this one goes all the way down. Perfect. See, that's your cutting. That's your cutting. This is underneath the handle right here. See it right here? So I'm missing one. Two and a, oh, I'm missing the one at, at one inch. My bad. One inch right there. Almost had it. Minus one, minus one, perfect. So this one goes all the way down. See it so far? Yeah. So this is how I do. If you want, let me print, let me, let me paint this red. See, this is underneath the handle. See it? Okay. And you got your, what you do, in correct draw, you weld them together, Just bring it up. You're going to cut this one out, open it. This is the bottom. No, this is the top mark. Huh? That's the top. This is the bottom. Perfect. You want to cut it there. Okay. So, let me make sure. Sorry guys, let me, I did the word the, the wrong way. Okay, perfect. Let's take this two, combine them, and then I take this and copy paste and from minus back, no mark, from minus back. Perfect, see it right there? Yeah, perfect. That was easy, right? Yeah, that was easy. Hey, I mean, I just saying then what you no, it, to it, do. It is a lot easier than the way I was doing it. That's for sure. So what I have. I do, go ahead. Well, go ahead. No, what I do, I bring my, my logo information. And then I bring it right here to the, to the center. But that, remember, this is underneath the, the handle. This is underneath the handle. So you want to, there we go. You got your template. Nice. Look at that. And then you're going to say, Mark, but let me print it real fast so that I will show you. Let me hit print. I'm going to print in a regular paper. Okay. Go ahead. You want to have a question? Yeah. So Terry has a question. She asked, so if the circumference of your product is smaller than the one that you just did, 
would you still cut half inch slits at the bottom or would you make the slits closer together? I, I, I don't understand that. Let me, um, let me, let me go to the, let me go to the camera. Number one. You talk about this in the bottom. So, uh, so like if you were doing another mug that was curved on the bottom, like the chili mug is, but it's smaller okay. than the, that it's smaller than the chili bowl. Would you still make half inch slits on the bottom or would you make like quarter yes. inch slits? Mm -hmm. All the pans. I will, I will do the smaller the, the item, the smaller the cut. I will do a quarter. I will do a quarter. Perfect. She's right. I will do a quarter cut. This is a, a larger item. If you do a quarter cut, then you're going to have a lot of loose. Now, you don't want to do that. I haven't done uh, one inch on the water bottles. It's, all the, it's a matter of, of, uh, of, of you doing my bad. Let me... I did, I did not get the uh, and a half by 14 on it. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, I do have. So, in my opinion, do the smaller the item, the smaller the cut. So, like that, you will have, uh, it's easier so you could put the tape on. Let me lace the print this real quick. And you're gonna see the difference on, on the paper. You there? Hello? Sprite? Yes. Oh, sorry, I thought I lost you. Okay, now let me print the, what we just did, the template to make sure, to make sure that it fit perfect. And remember, that's what that's, that's the reason you wanna do it in parchment paper, because like that you could fix anything for you print your, your artwork, perfect. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the top camera. So. Okay, here we go. Top cameras number two, Mark. Bring it out. Perfect. See it there? It's the bottom. I think I didn't flip it. My bad. So I'm gonna do it like this. I think. But no problem, we just try and error. Okay, make sure. Any other question out there? Why I cut this? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I think we've done, uh, you, well, we, you've done a great job. Um, I know I learned stuff today. I learned the easier way to do things, which I appreciate, time is money. No, and, and not only time is money, it's easier because like that you get a better, perfect fit for your template. I mean, your fingers the exacto or not sentimental okay this is the bottom part so I did it wrong see but so no this I'm right oh, this is the top part you see it so you want to always put it in this side first but you want to you want to have that grip in this side you see it then you turn it around Remember, this paper is uh, photocopy paper. It's not. It's not flexible like uh, Epson. Okay, so you see how how it goes, how it goes in, right here. You see it, the top. The top goes right there. You see it, right, right there. 
and then underneath you you still have space and you can make an adjustment right here you see it like a, a eight one eighth of an inch you don't want to put nothing in the bottom so here you go your template okay if you don't want if you don't want to have the hassle of the of the curve just do the template without this and then you could you could do it like this see it see the perfect fit right there perfect fit but I, I, if i'm going to do a full wrap i'm going to do a video on it i promise you for the weekend but next week i think i'll do next week i'll be in new orleans but uh this weekend i'm going to do this one as a full wrap with a with a solid background to see how how it goes and i'm going to do a step by step like i did today so you guys could see everything at least you know how to do the template uh, that's the way to do the template. You already got in Corel Draw, save it as a template. And so far, I think, let me let me change to number number one. Mark number three. Perfect. Okay. Any other questions? I don't see you, right? There I am. Up? There we go. Now I can I see you. Like I said, I think that was that was great. Uh, well, I know that was great. Um, so, well, thank you very much for joining me today, Mark. Uh, you taught me a bunch. I know you taught the people that are watching a lot. So, always a pleasure. Look, look at that. Beautiful. And you see that perfect round? You see? I mean, it's, look at that. It's perfect. I mean, you could certainly make this and you put your logo underneath there too. But I don't, for me, I like underneath the, the because people will see it all the I time. I like that. Yeah, so, I like that too. That's nice. Cheers for everybody that was watching. And I hope we do another one next month. Put it down. We go another month, one in October with some Halloween things. I don't know. You you tell me what, what you want to do. Remember, this is my, this is my cave. I'm here 24-7. Uh, so whatever you want to do next month, you could kind of make on me, just send whatever you want to do. I do the template and we work from there. And for this weekend, guys, look for the, for the video, how to do this. Okay. And let me see if I could get another one of this. So I could do the solid and yes. I think I see you when you think will be the next one, uh, Sprite. I, I don't know. You know, we have the Sublimation Summit coming up. Uh, I tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll get in touch with you. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. But Love thank it. you again, Mark. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll see all of you on Friday. Love the shirt. I'll see you on Friday.